What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Vontae the first. I'm back again for another video. As y'all can see, My Hero Academia. As I told y'all before, every Friday I do My Hero Academia. I release it in the morning or noon time, whenever, wherever you guys are at. But my time is like morning or noon time. You know what I'm saying? Um, but of course, when there's breaks, I won't do it on those weeks because there's nothing to react to in terms of My Hero Academia and the manga during that time. So, like last week, there was a break. Um, after chapter 288, which chapter 288 was really nice, it was really good to me. Uh, the the chapter started off with Best Genius, you know what I'm saying? He came back, he's in the aircraft. Uh, they try to make it like mysterious and stuff, like, oh, it might be like Best Genius or it might be All Might. He had to think about all the other people that were hurt or recovering at the time, which um, the pilot had mentioned that about uh, Best Genius because that's obviously Best Genius in there. Uh, she was saying, like, oh, you haven't fully recovered yet and blah, 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 and you know, all that. And, uh, and then we ended up um, just seeing them on his way there because the heroes, they need some help right now in the main battlefield and in the uh, streets with the civilians. But especially in the main battlefield, because like the only person that's standing right now is like Todoroki and then the league are on their way. So, yeah, they're going to need some people to, you know, come in and help evacuate or fight off the league or whatever. So Best Genius is one of the best things that they got right now to come back. But, and then that's another thing because he is... He isn't fully recovered yet, too, so that's already a handicap in itself. After that, we seen Toga. She jumped off of Makia's back to go ask Toga, you know, the question about her um, curiosity about how the heroes, like, their morale and stuff like that. And um, when she jumped off, Spinner had told her that, you know, she needs to make it back to them. And before that, I think he said something about, uh, oh, yeah, he said that uh, twice meant as much to them as she did, that as he did to her, to Toga. So basically explaining that we're a family. We all, you know, want to see each other survive and live and keep on doing what, you know, what I guess you could say their passion is, you know what I'm saying? As villains or uh, outcasts in society and you just make sure that they're safe because they're a family. And then the chapter ended off with uh, Toga and Ochako that basically they're about to fight. Toga already tried to stab Ochako and then Ochako did her little kung fu moves, you know what I'm saying? Scan's version of my hero said that, uh, she was going to arrest her right then and there. But in the official version, uh, Uraraka said that she was just going to stop Toga. So that can mean anything. It can mean arrest. It can mean kill. It can mean decapitate, whatever, cripple, you know, all that, you know. But without further ado, let's get to the next chapter. I see how I accompany them as well. But you're, but you're, hey, wait, wait up. If it's a matter of breaking the rules and I will accept any penalty. Of the three classmates that went, none of them have come back. Among the three are those who have rescued me time and time again. Ah, uh, yeah. Is he talking about um Deku, Todoroki, and I guess Uraraka? Yeah. <clears throat> and you see uh uh Todoroki, he's he caught Deku and Endeavor and Bak. God damn, he's that boy is really carrying them, literally. Jesus Christ. Bakugo, Midoriya, and De Ah. <sighs> They're still alive. Hang in there, you guys. We'll take care of... Damn, they look... Oh, fizzle. Tomorrow, stop it. Step down. You c can't tell me what... Oh, God. And that boy, Shigaraki's back up. Oh, I like that little panel right there. It's like little panels within panels. You see uh, Shigaraki. His head's like... Or, or the, yeah, Shigaraki. And you see Endeavor. He's all fucked up and hurt. And you see Todoroki... He's the only one there. Everyone. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We got my boy Ida and uh uh um um Hado, uh Nejure. And that's something I've been talking about. We need Nejure in there to do something, you know what I'm saying? She gotta do something. Being a part of Big Three, she gotta be big in some kind of way. And boy Ida is getting his shine again. I swear, Hori Coach just be listening to our podcast and stuff, you know, the Hero City podcast. We mentioned we just mentioned stuff like this, like uh, Ida and stuff like that. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> and then we switch back to the Toga and uh, Udarak. I like this. This is very like episodic. Like it, it seems like an episode how they're switching within this this chapter alone. I like that. Sorry about this, but I've gotten stronger since we last met. If I, if I can manage to touch her body, but I need to be careful about spilling any blood. We don't have much time here. How should I? Here's the thing about me, Ochako John. Whenever I think about people I like, I just feel the desire to become like them. And I end up not being able to resist the temptation of drain to drain all their blood out. 
it gets my heart pounding like crazy. But others don't think like me. So it's super hard to have it my way. A while ago, there was a person who tried to kill me while telling me how much she pitied what was my normal life. So transform as you, so transform as you, I was able to access your cork and drop the person to their death. And Udraka like, what you just say? Turns out I can use the quirks of those I like. Isn't that wonderful? Your lifestyle of hurting others is irresistible to you. I'll have you take this, the responsibility for your actions. Yeah, right. And then Froppy comes in. Why is Him Himiko Tola here? Thanks. Bye bye. Suyu John. To think I almost left you behind. She disappeared. She could be aiming for our blind spot, so let's watch each other's back. No, she ran away. Unstoppable. The villain is getting, the huge villain is getting even bigger, so no stop. Our video feed is cut, our signal. I used to think of us as both girls who love the same person and wondered if we can someday talk about love together. I'm coming back, guys. I've got my answer. She was crying. You see, uh, um, Todoroki, Ida, Nejere. <laughs> you see, I'm smiling because I just like to see the girl out there, you know what I'm saying? And Shiggy, and Shiggy got the little tendrils, and he's just going crazy on everybody in that vicinity of that area in the main battle. Oh, shit. Wait, wait, wait. Was that Makia that came in? Yep, you see Makia, you see Todoroki, you see Davi, you see Deku, you see Endeavor, you see Nezure, you see Ida, you see Shiggy. That's a clean-ass panel right there. God damn, Horikoshi. That is so clean. Everybody's face, the emotions, the state. Like, you could just see the pain certain characters are in. Um, just the... Everything. Like, just the emotions, the frustration, the seriousness, the... The, the smug and nasty laughing attitude. You see Dobby just looking down at him like, yeah, here we go. Oh, man. Well, like I said, at least they got some heroes there with them on the battlefield right there. Because I was just saying um, before I started the chapter, I was like, all right, um, best genius is coming in. I'm like, shit, who else is there? I was like, okay, we got Todoroki, of course. You know, he a powerhouse. And I'm like, what, Manuel and, like, uh, uh, Rock Lock? I'm like, what the hell are they going to do? I mean, they, I don't know, but... <laughs> Uh, at least uh, Nezre and Ida came in. So that's that's a little help right there. And then you got Bessinia. I'm assuming he's on his way there too. Uh, people that are laid out, obviously, Gran Torino, Aizawa, and Bakugo. And shit, Deku and um, Endeavor pretty much damn near done. I'd say Deku probably got like one little... Um, I don't know. He might unlock another quirk. Or he got like one little... Um, Hoorah. I don't know. He's going to do something, I feel like. Or Endeavor. Either or. Because of the whole thing with Dobby coming in and stuff. So, Ooh, I like that. I like that last panel. That's clean. And that's kind of like, it feels like an episode cliffhanger, too. That's why I was saying earlier in the chapter that this chapter seemed like an episode. Yeah, I really like it. This chapter is really good. Okay, last chapter, okay, I may have been wild. And I was saying, like, it's a 10 or a 9 or something. In reality, it was more like an 8. Okay, I was just saying that because I enjoyed it. I enjoyed seeing El Chaco and Toga. I enjoyed the best genus thing. I enjoyed the whole family thing but with the League of Villains. You know, that was all pretty dope. You know what I'm saying? But um, this chapter, I'll probably give this chapter definitely a... um. Hmm. This one is better than that one. I'll give this one a 9 because it felt like an episode. Like I said, it's like we going through... So we started the chapter out with... um. Basically, back with uh, uh, Shiggy and them, and Deku, Todoroki, Endeavor, Bakugo, and all that. And then we ended up switching, like, within a few uh, pages to the Toga and um, um, Ochako thing. Ochako said, I'll have you take responsibility for your actions. So, I'm assuming that kind of pretty much mean like, you know, prison to arrest her or something. Because taking responsibility for your actions, you know, consequences usually means jail, prison. So... At least she didn't tell Toga, you know, I'm just going to stop you. I'm going to end you here and all that. I don't know if the crime is, is for frustration or if it's for, um, like, for frustration because of the fact that, you know, somebody like Ochako that she, she sees her as a friend or something, you know, somebody close to her in a way. So it's like the fact that they're on different sides and she's crying out of frustration that like you know i can't be a friend with somebody that's on the other side and it's just hard to get out of my state or 
she was crying because Ochako didn't give her the answer straightforward. I don't know. I'm about to read the official or uh, the officials and talk to some people because I, I kind of don't understand this that much. But it seems like she has some kind of remorse, maybe. I don't know, because she's crying, you know? So she has to have some kind of remorse or something, you know what I'm saying? Well, like I said, this chapter was a nine. Oh, I can't wait till next chapter. Now, that was a good-ass cliffhanger. This is... Last chapter was like a setup for the Toka and Ochako thing. Now we're getting set up for the next thing. And like I said, so good that we got to see Ida and um, Nezure. I swear, we all be talking about this, especially in the Hero City podcast or in the Discord in general, um, in Townsie's Discord, that um, uh, Ochako, I mean, what am I, why do I keep saying Ochako? I just got her name and Toga's name stuck in my head. But we keep talking about how like certain characters need to get, not necessarily just get shine back, but like, you know, we want to see more people. It's not just about them in general getting shine or whatever. It's just there's characters that we like or we want to like more and we want to see them more. And characters that we always talk about, or at least me and Mr. Twitchy, we always talk about uh, Nezure all the time. We always want to see Nezure back in there. And um, who else? Um, oh, and Ida. Everybody talks about Ida. You know, like season two was the last time he ever did anything and it was against Stain. And that was a whole story that was, you know, specifically for him. But we want to see something where people like them come into the battlefield and, or come into the forefront and the, the main event, the spotlight um, to help out the main character and Deku and, then, you know, and Bakugo and all of them. You know what I'm saying? That big thing. I love Horikoshi, man. He's doing so well with My Hero, especially in this year. Like, if I could say somebody's uh, from the manga that I read this year, who's ki who's been killing it this year, it's him and Sayama. And, and I would say Horikoshi's right there with Sayama. But, shit, this might be Horikoshi's best year yet, I feel like. Because he's been on a hot streak with chapters. It's like they barely ever slow down, especially in this arc. Um, but it's a climactic arc, so I can, you know, that's understandable that it hasn't, you know, dropped lower. But, yeah, like I said, chapter is a nine. I've been talking for too much, too long, too long. So, I'll let you guys go. Like I say, please be safe, stay healthy, stay clean, like, comment, subscribe. Share the video, uh, support your boy so you can get some more content on My Hero Academia, and I'll see you guys in the next video, so peace.